Join Dr. Zach Williams and Flat Creek Baptist Church as we dive deeper into God's Word in this podcast titled New Horizons. Good morning. Thank you for joining me, Pastor Zach Williams, on this episode of New Horizons, the daily podcast and radio ministry of Flat Creek Baptist Church, Gainesville, Georgia. It is my greatest joy to join you uh, on this daily um, Bible study, Bible devotion in order to just lift you up with the Word of God. And I want you to know that I love this book. And I trust that by you turning, tuning in, uh, that you love this book too. Or you may just be searching this book for answers, trying to find, is this really the Word of God? And if that's you today, I would encourage you uh, to get into this Bible, read it, and allow God to speak into your life. And I trust that He will speak to you and confirm that every single word, every single page of this book is absolutely true. Saying those things today, I want us to turn to the book of 2 Corinthians chapter number 6. 2 Corinthians chapter number 6, and let's begin in verse number 14. Here the Bible says, Do not be mismatched with unbelievers. For what partnership is there between righteousness and lawlessness? Or what fellowship does light have with darkness? What agreement does Christ have with Belial? Or what does a believer have in common with an unbeliever? And what agreement does God's sanctuary have with idols? For we are the sanctuary of the living God. As God said, I will dwell among them and walk among them. And I will be their God and they will be my people. Therefore, come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Do not touch anything unclean and I will welcome you. I will be a father to you, and you will be sons and daughters to me, says the Lord Almighty. Therefore, dear friends, since we have such promises, let us cleanse ourselves from every impurity of the flesh and spirit, completing our sanctification in the fear of of God. You know, as a Bible teacher, as a person who is um, just adamant that we must share our faith with a lost and dying world, uh, there seems to be one common argument from unbelievers toward Christianity. Uh, I can guarantee you that you have heard this argument. Now, they'll come up with all kinds of different things and all kinds of different questions, but when it comes down to it, the majority of unbelievers will say the reason they do not want to become a Christian is that Christians are a bunch of hypocrites. Have you ever heard that before? I hear it all the time. And and friends, listen to me. I I will tell you this, um, that you know, uh, as a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, I never profess perfection. I am a lost man. I'm a sinner on a journey with the Lord Jesus Christ. I recognize every day how much I need him. Uh, We are not perfect people as believers in Christ. We are forgiven people as believers in Christ. So no, no, we're we're not actually uh, hypocrites. No, we're just people who are in love with Jesus, with the fallen nature who have been forgiven. So guess what? Yes, we're going to mess up. However, there is a great problem. There are many in the church who walk as if they are perfect. They they carry themselves with an arrogance or an air about themselves that they do not mess up, that they do not sin. And when they walk and they do walk amongst people who are lost, um, lost people can see right through them. And and inevitably, as is often the case, Uh, Many of those people who walk with a sense of perfection about themselves uh, may fall. And when they fall, their sins are normally publicized in a very uh, prolific way for many people to see. And when people around the world see these things, the mark of Christianity is what? Hypocrisy. These are people who say one thing but live 
another thing. A few years ago, I can remember uh, as, a, as a young pastor uh, being at my first church, and I was with a fellow pastor, a, a young man that I love so much. His name is John David Wilson. I call him JD. He's one of my very best friends. And I can remember being in my office at the church I pastored down in Great Falls, South Carolina. And I can remember JD one time looking at me and he said the following. He said, Pastor Zach, you know what the problem is today in the church. And I said, what's that, JD? He said, the problem is that preachers do not preach separation any longer. We do not preach that we as believers in the Lord Jesus Christ are to be separate from the world. Now, friends, listen to me. I'm not telling you, I'm not telling you today that you hole up in your house and that you never go out. That's not what I mean by being separate. What I mean by being separate is this, that you as a believer in Christ are different from all the rest. We don't look like the world. We don't talk like the world. We don't act like the world. We are different than the world. That's not to say that we carry ourselves with an air of perfection. That's not to say we carry ourselves with an arrogance. What that is to say is that we do not what mismatch ourselves with unbelievers, as the Bible says. We, we do not have fellowship with idols. We do not have fellowship with immorality. Instead, we are what? Separate from those things, living a life of holiness, striving to be like Jesus. And I agree with JD. We do not preach separation anymore. We should preach separation and we should be different than the rest of the world. The world should know by the way we live our lives that we are followers of Jesus because we don't live like the rest of the world. I can remember a few years ago being with another pastor friend of mine, Brother David McCachran. And David is one of my favorite preachers. I love him so much. And he and I, one afternoon, were talking. And we were talking about how the Bible says in the book of First Peter that as believers, we are aliens and strangers on this earth. And I can remember telling David, I said, David, uh, you know, uh, if, if an alien walked in the door of your church today, you would immediately be able to recognize it. You would say, that's an alien. Why? Because he doesn't look like someone from earth. He walks different than someone from earth. His skin looks like something different from earth. And immediately you can tell that he's an alien. Why? Because he is not of this earth. And I'll never forget what David looked back at me and said. He said, and not only would he look different, talk different, act different, but people would be drawn to him because he's an alien. They would want to go over and see what it is that makes him different than us. And friends, listen to me. If we as believers were to begin living our lives in holiness, begin living our lives in separation, guess what would happen? Not only would we walk different, talk different, act different, but the world would actually be drawn to us, not repelled by us. So the world would no longer say they're hypocrites. The world would say, what's different about that guy? What's different about that young lady? Whatever it is, I want to investigate because I want whatever they have. And so friends today, I'm just going to encourage you, just like the Bible says, to live a separated life unto the Lord Jesus Christ. I am so thankful that you tuned in today. I look forward to gathering with you tomorrow. May God bless.